Right now, our time, but night has already fallen in Kyiv and Ukraine, so a lot of questions remain about what happens tomorrow uh, with a possible invasion. After months of staging, Vladimir Putin has advanced Russian forces across the borders into Ukraine, the breakaway territories of the east, now recognizing those regions as independent, and his public comments have been very menacing for what's to come. Karun Demergian is a national security reporter with The Washington Post, here to explain the key issues and what we can expect in the days ahead. Uh, Karun, we were talking during the break. You were thinking the next 24 hours, 48 hours could be critical to what we see there. Yeah, I mean, look, we had major developments <clears throat> in the last 24 hours. You've had the West put out a first tranche of sanctions to yeah. basically say, listen, Putin and everybody close to you, we are serious here about you not going any further. Right. So the recognition of these territories, and frankly, remember that the what they recognized actually includes far more territory than what the separatists current, currently control, um, is the basically the penultimate step to a potential full-fledged invasion, or it's not. And that's where we find ourselves right now. What Putin has done has been enough to prompt sanctions. It's yes. been enough to prompt Germany to, to axe Nord Stream 2. But they still got, the, the question is, is this enough to deter him from doing a full-scale troops shooting at troops, tanks rolling across borders, more incursions maybe all the way into central parts of Ukraine. And that's what we're going to probably see very soon. And that's what's so hard to predict, especially with a man like uh, President uh, Putin. When we talk about the Ukraine also, uh, we were talking during the break about the cyber attack that just happened. So mm -hmm. are these sanctions going to be enough? Is this looks like um, uh, President Putin pushing a little bit and then going to back off? Or is this just more of the lead up. That's what we don't know. And that's at this point what anybody's guess is. It seems like um, Putin is the only one that knows. Right, indeed. And, and remember, there was always going to be, a, we have always assumed that there was going to be a multi front attack. Now, that is both geographic from the way that Russia was orienting its forces around Ukraine's various borders, but also just strategic. I mean, there are a lot of things that Russia can do that isn't just fighting by land. Right. There's air, there's sea, there's si si Russia has always used cyber actually quite well um, to punch above its weight class and to, to, to further destabilize its adversaries. So that's not surprising that we would see, we would see that. But as you said, the question is is that a scaling up or is that some sort of a leveling off and that really is going to be uh you know what the next day or two probably is going to tell and do you think the sanctions that even if we were to ramp up even if president biden and uh, leaders of the western countries in europe um ramp up uh sanctions is this enough is it painful enough to stop putin from further advancing in ukraine you know, it really depends. I got to say that the, the, the scale of the sanctions that we're talking about right now are very different than what happened in 2014, right. 2015, which is also the last time that I lived in Moscow. So my, my you know, insider knowledge is yeah. that distance as well. Um, but, uh, you know, keep in mind that we have not specified exactly, exactly what we will do. Yes, we could sanction the very, very biggest banks, so right. one, one of which the biggest bank would actually cause a good amount of pain in Russia. Uh, we could impose export controls, which would impose pain. I think Putin is calculated for at least some of yeah. this, but also this has been a, a game of second guessing. And, and I think that, you know, the Russian president has a habit of guessing that maybe we're not, we as the West are not willing to put all of our cards on the table right. every time. And, and that's the question. Will we, and will it be enough given that Putin has already probably factored in a, a, a modicum of pain into his plans? Right. Um, and we don't know quite how long he's planning on extending this to a full occupation. That would be difficult for him right. and take a long time and re a lot of resources or just to do, you know, a, enough damage that would destabilize the government in right. Kiev. So you kind of end up with a really weak Ukraine as your neighbor that you can control anyway. God. Plus, does he really have the support of everyone at home? So many questions and a critical <laughs> 24, 48 hours left me, uh, to go on this. Uh, Karun Demergian, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, love your reporting and uh, your insight into what's happening in the Ukraine and Russia. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. 818 right now.